Oh, hello there. Isn't it a wonderful day to be at my laundromat? I'm so glad you could stop by. You know, I saw the cutest little bird on the way here. It had blue wings, a white belly, and ah, the little things. We have a big day ahead of us, so we better get started. But first, I think we should get some help. Who do you think we should ask? What was that? That's right, Matt Wool. <laughs> Here we go. Sir George. Oh, I'm just Tandy. I was just telling him about the bird I saw on the way here. Oh. It was so magnificent. It had blue wings and a white belly and ah, the little things. Wow. Matt, we had a lot of things today and our friends are here to help us out. That's so terrific. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Oh no, it's a ganko. Whoa, 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 Hank, you shouldn't be running with scissors. Well, why not? It's not safe. Why do I need to be safe? Why do you need to be safe? Being safe means protecting yourself from getting hurt. We feel safe like we feel being happy, angry, or sad. Does that mean I can feel safe now, Sir George? Of course. You're always safe in the laundromat. Safety is my number one rule. Why do I need to be safe? Safe. Safety, pafety, who cares? <laughs> pafety isn't a word, Hank. What? 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 Holy polyester! Sir George, Sir George! Can I go on my word walk now? Only if you promise to be safe. Haha, <laughs> sure will, Sir George. Mad Wolf's word walk, Mad Wolf's word walk, let's go! Hi kids, so today we're going to teach you a thing about safety. But first, I'm going to spell out the word for you. Safety. Boop. This stands for stop. It means look both ways before you cross the street. A stands for ask an adult. If you're not sure it's safe, Find a parent or a teacher. F stands for Fasten your seatbelt, baby. Which is the first thing you have to do once you enter a vehicle. E stands for Examine your surroundings. Top to bottom, left to right, even underneath your bum. T stands for Tell someone in case you see something dangerous, like a kinko. Y stands for you are responsible for your own safety. S-A-F-E-T-Y That spells safety! Woo! Oh, oh, oh! Sir George, Sir George! Gee whiz! I learned so much! And what did you learn? I learned all about safety. I taught the children what to do once they reach a stop sign and cross the street and get into a car and examine your surroundings and all oh, polyester. It was fantastic. Okay, okay, Matt, 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 that's, that's great, but, but did our friend learn anything? That's excellent. And we're about to learn a lot more because today, safety is our lesson of the day. Uh, lesson of the day. Ah, lesson of the day. Well, why are you upset about the lesson of the day, Hank? Because I wanted to make crafts, and now i got to be safe. <laughs> well, Hank, we can still be safe and make arts and crafts. I'll show you. Wow! You had an owl under your desk the whole time! <laughs> well, Matt, it's not a real owl. <laughs> Let's begin. First, make sure you have an adult around at all times. Begin to make a wing shape onto the side of the carton, but don't have the ends meet. I'll show you what I mean. Ah, wow, Sir George. You're really good at this. Why, thanks, Matt. It takes a lot of practice. Ah, uh, you're cutting it all wrong. Well, what do you mean by that, Hank? 
this is the proper way to cut the weak part. <laughs> blah, blah. You'll see, Hank. Okay. Put this right over here. Oh, no. Now, where has our second bottle cap gone? Oh, I bet Hank Dunkel stole it. Now, Hank, would you please return it? Hank! Now everybody call for Hank. Okay, okay, here you go. I didn't want it anyway. <laughs> now, when you finish the last eye, it should look something like this. And you can feed all the birds. Ooh! What was that? That's the sound an owl makes. <laughs> that was great, Matt. Now what sound would your owl make? Sounds so terrific! <laughs> now guys, what other animals do you like? I like frogs, kangaroos, and birds, and dogs, and cats. I like snakes, crows, wolves, and uh, uh, spiders. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the time I visited a home with lots of cute pet rats? You went to a home with lots of rats? Yee! Don't worry, Matt. Rats are the nicest animals you'll ever meet. I had so much fun playing with them. You've got to tell us, Sir George. You've got to tell us. Well, it was just last week. You guys are not going to believe where we are right now. I'm here at my friend Monica's house, and she's about to show us some of her special pets. Come on over here, Monica. Hi, Sir George. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? Pretty good. I can't wait to meet your special friends. Are you ready to meet Monica's special friends? Good. Let's go. So, Monica, rats? Huh? Yes, they're wonderful pets. <laughs> they're just honestly like mini dogs. Wow, that sounds really, really fun. Now, where did you get some of these rats? So, about a year ago, I went to like a rat rescue, got my two girls, and then later on, I adopted a couple from Tron. Wow, now that is really cool, Monica. Now tell me, what's the best way to take care of your rats? I'd say give them lots of playtime, make sure that they always have a companion, they don't like to be alone. Now, what's the difference between these rats and the rats that you might just see scurrying in the streets? Well, these ones are pet rats. Uh, they don't live in sewers, so they're completely clean. The cat does, so, you know, they're handled from birth. Really cool, Monica. Now, here's the thing that I wonder about is that some people might be a little scared of rats. So I wonder, what's a reason for them not to be so scared of the little buggers? Just don't look at their tails. <laughs> yeah? That's it. It solves all the problems. That's fantastic. That's going to be very helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we've got a special little friend here today. He's a little Pomeranian named Pixel, oh. and he's all the way from Ukraine. <laughs> oh, I've never been to Ukraine. Oh, so cute. Oh, just a fun little bell. I love you so much. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get you out of here now, OK? Bye-bye, Pixel. Bye, Pixel. <clears throat> now, Matt, 
Would you mind helping us out by reading some of the safety questions viewers have sent in for us? Oh, I'd do anything for you, Sir George. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Uh, the first one comes from Alex Beatty from Vancouver, BC. He says, My mom always tells me to slow down when I'm running around the pool area. She says it's unsafe. Is this true? Why, yes, Alex. Your mother couldn't be more spot on. It's very unsafe to run around the pool area because it's so wet. There's a chance of slipping and bonking your head on the poolside if you're not careful. And we wouldn't want that now, would we? Thanks for the question, Alex. <clears throat> the next one comes from Sarah Fraser from Montreal, Quebec, and she says, Oi, I saw my friend with matches. How do I tell my friend he's been unsafe without sounding mean? Oh, that's a scary one. I know, Matt. Well, good eye, Sarah. The best way to help the situation is to immediately tell your friend to put the matches down. Matches are only for adults to touch. Remember, telling someone to be safe doesn't mean you're being mean. What's the next one, Matt? The next one is from Tom Watts from right here in Oakville. He says, How do I know when I feel safe? That's a good question, Tom. It's hard to know exactly when you're safe or feeling safe. My best answer for that is to be around people you love and trust and know that they love and trust you back. That's when you know you're in a safe environment. I always feel safe around you, Sir George. Well, thank you, Matt. I feel the same way about you. Wouldn't believe it, Sir George. Reese Hamill from Manitoba, Ontario sent a photo of him and his friend, uh, sister I mean, being safe while using <laughs> a letter. <laughs> Oh, wow. I didn't know we had friends who were artists. Ah, oh. oh, looks like a modern day Da Vinci or some kind of a Picasso or even a Salvador Dali. Have you ever seen those paintings of Banksy on the streets? They look really nice. Very controversial. <laughs> Let's check up on Hank. Tumble, tumble, tumble. <laughs> Oi, what's that you got in your mouth there? Uh, nothing. Nah, I can see you got something stuck in your mouth. What is it? Uh, not, uh, you're not cool enough to understand. Why would you say that, Hank? I'm cool enough to co-host a kids' TV show, right? Huh. Now, Hank, oh, oh. what is that in your mouth? Well, uh, it's a match. No big deal. Uh, I, 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 I know I look pretty cool. <laughs> Hank, matches are for not to be played with. You know, you know this. They can be very dangerous and start a fire. Oh my god. Is that smoke I smell? Oh, fire! oh my god! Uh -oh. Oh, holy poly, oh, no. oh. 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 That was a close one. Good thing we got you, Sir George. Now where did Hank go? I bet he took off. He probably felt so bad about starting the fire. Oh. Hank should know that when you play with matches, someone could get hurt. Uh, Hopefully Hank's reflecting on what he did. <clears throat> I hope he's not too upset. Mm. How about we whip up a little treat for him and then go find him? That sounds delightful, Sir George. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Now, before we start, you ha make sure you have an adult around at all times. And you can follow alongside them. Won't be needing this on the pizza. <laughs> well, Sir George, where did we start? Well, we're going to start by placing the tomato sauce and spreading it on the dough. Oi! Wait a minute! Yeah. Let's put all of this on there! <laughs> the garlic <laughs> oil. Now, Hank, we can't put too many of those on there, okay? Oh, why It'll not? Make <laughs> it's going to make you sick. Yeah! Okay. All right. Now, let's put a few more toppings on there, all right? Just throw a little bit of cheese, so you've got some of the base. Let's throw some pepperonis on there, and then a couple of mushrooms. And you know what? Heck, let's get crazy. Throw a little bit more on top of there. And now, once all your toppings are placed, you can put it in the oven like so, and wait about 15 to 20 minutes. But that'll be a parent's job. And once you've waited 15 to 20 minutes, the pizza should come out a little like this. Wow! Hank is sure gonna love when he sees that. Pizza is his favorite food. Hey everyone, you mind helping us one more time to call over Hank? You're gonna have to say it louder. Hank. Uh, hey guys, I'm here, I'm here. Hey, it worked, boys and girls. 
Oh, wow, those, the, the pizza sure looks good. We made it just for ye, Hank Henkel. What? Even after all I did? Of course, Hank. We're a family here at the laundromat. We've got to support and help each other the best we can. We're a family. Eh. Do you know what you did wrong back there? Uh, I was just trying to impress you guys. I thought it'd be fun to do a cool magic trick with a match, but you nearly destroyed the store and it burnt my hand. Well, your hand seems to be okay. But you see now how important it is to be safe. It's not just for yourself, but for others' safety too. Yeah, Hank. It's even cooler when you're safe. Take it from me! <laughs> Plus, Matt, why were you trying to do magic? There's magic all around you. Because in the magical laundromat with Hank and Matt, all the things that have been, we're having fun with pizza jelly beans. Now, now, friends, it's time to close up shop. It's getting late. Uh, but I was just trying to have fun, Sir George. <laughs> I know, Hank, but we can enjoy it all tomorrow when it comes back. How's that sound? So terrific! No, oh, I'm sure going to miss you, Sir George. As will I, to the both of you, but it'll only be a short time. Before we head out, let's say goodbye to our guest. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye, see you next time! Gotta love those guys. I hope you a farewell.